This background is so weird. Okay. Um, <laughs> Carmen Jossop, your friendly neighborhood librarian, and I'm here in the career corner with a very, very special guest, Rapini Shukla. Um, just wanted to um, talk to you a little bit about taking a gap year. And um, gap years sometimes get a bad rap. Um, and I, our special guest has. Um, taken a gap year and been very successful and I wanted her to share a little bit about her experience with all of you. Um, just real briefly to give you a little bit of background and so I can proudly gush about my special guest here. Um, Peeny was a student of mine in my after school program. Um, we've known each other for I want to say like 14 years now. And so I've seen just a real evolution of this young lady. Um, my daughter is six years old and I would be so honored if she ends up turning out even a smidge like you, Rapini. Um, <laughs> you, you've just always been very disciplined. You come from a great family. Um, you've always put your academics first. And I've also seen you just um, just grow so much as a person. You, you used to be very, very shy and um, you just really sort of, you've come out of your shell and you have the heart of an activist and you're very loving and you're just one of my favorite human beings ever. So oh, thank you for saying that. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I mean it too much. I, I truly, you, you're, you're, you're one of the very good ones. I'm, I, and I'm, and I'm honored to know you and I'm honored to love you. And also just very much, um, I, I'm very proud that you're gonna be one of our future leaders um, in the world of dentistry. Um, so I'm gonna turn it over to you. I just wanted to maybe start off with, um, if you could share a little bit about your academic journey, where you are now, and then, um, and then talk a little bit about your gap year and why it was a good decision for you to do at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, I graduated from high school in 2012. Um, and then after that, I went straight to college at UMBC. So I stayed local, commuted from home. Um, my plan was to pursue a biology degree and then go straight to medical school. Um, this was baby me and I literally had no idea what was in store for me ahead. Um, so I explored my interests in undergrad um, and I got interested in psychology. Um, and so I ended up getting two bachelor's degrees instead of the one that I had planned. Um, and I also realized that I didn't really want to spend the rest of my life in school. Um, like I would have to do if I went to medical school. So my advisor was like, why don't you shadow some dentists um, because they don't have to stay in school forever um, and see if you like that, um, which I had no experience with because my parents never took me to the dentist as a kid. Um, but when I did, I really ended up liking the, um, the mix of art and science in dentistry. And so I decided to go that route um, but because I decided that in my junior year of college, um, I didn't have enough shadowing experience or anything to go directly into dental school um, straight out of UMBC. So that was my main reason for taking a gap year. Um, and during that year, I was able to work and apply for dental school. Um, and I had a lot of free time to attend interviews, um, including the ones that I had to travel to out of state. Um, so you said also um, why taking a gap year was the right why, decision. Why was it, why was it a good the right decision for you at the time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, so I feel like it was the right decision for me because it let me be better prepared for what I actually wanted to do in life. Um, I was able to shadow more dentists and be sure that that's actually what I wanted to commit to. Um, because dental school is a lot of money. It's truly an investment. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of time. Um, and it isn't easy. So um, I was able to work for dentists at the library and at the library as well um, to save up. Um, so I wouldn't have to take out as many loans. So that was also a pro of the gap year that I did. Um, during my first year, um, I'm sorry, during the, my first gap year, I was traveling um, for dental school interviews 
um, because this was my first round of applying. Um, and this was really my first time doing anything like that on my own, um, like going out and traveling and booking airline tickets. And it was, it was really a period of growth um, for me. Unfortunately, I didn't get into the school that I wanted to go to in my first round of applying, um, which was the whole reason I took the gap year. Um, so I decided kind of on a whim um, in April 2017. Um, I graduated from undergrad in 2016. Um, so I was almost nearing the end of my gap year. Um, and in April 2017, I decided that on a whim, I'm gonna apply to master's degree programs um, last minute and get another degree instead of waiting another year and seeing if I get into dental school while doing all the same stuff. Um, I thought the other degree would make me more competitive um, and then fortunately, when I applied during the last year of my master's, um, I did end up getting accepted into my dream dental school, which was Maryland. Um, so that is where I am right now. And I'm a second year student. Um, so really, instead of the one gap year that I had planned between college and dental school, it ended up being three. Um, because the master's was a two-year program, um, but I really wouldn't go back and change anything because I had so much time to grow in between. What are, what are some, you, you mentioned travel and you were able to set up your reservations. Were there other aspects of the gap year that helped you to grow on, on a more personal level? Um, yeah, so I had a lot of time to just reflect um, I think the time thing is really big. Um, so as I mentioned, I ended up getting two bachelor's degrees and that was all in four years. Um, and so I was taking like 19 credits a semester um, and it was a really busy time for me. Um, so I didn't really have that much time to do much at all in, um, in undergrad, but because I took that gap year off, I really had some time to myself to think about stuff. Excuse um, me for one second. I'm sorry. Yeah. Pause this for one quick second. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please continue. So you said um, you had you had lots of time. Yes. Um, so that was the one difference between me being an undergrad and me taking the gap year that I had a lot of time to reflect and figure out what I really wanted to do. Um, other than that, I had time to work. Um, which was good, even though I had a couple of jobs in undergrad, it was, it was all competing for attention and competing for my time. Um, so I, I liked that I had time to work almost full time during my gap year and also get more experience in my field before actually going into it. How much longer do you have um, in dentistry school? I have two more years two after, more years. The, yeah. Do you have to intern as well? Um, you mean like residency? Yes. Um, that's a choice. So okay. usually um, nowadays more and more students are opting for residency, even if it's a general practice residency. Um, but even that is just a year. It's not like medical school where you're in school for four more years after, right. after medical school. <laughs> So um, in closing, what, what, what tips would you share um, if a team were to ask you, I'm thinking about taking a gap year, what are some things I should consider? Or do um, I would say um, try to explore more about the field that you're trying to go into, um, but also take some time for yourself um, along with that. So kind of a 50-50 split. Um, between that, because once you actually get into like, quote unquote adulting and um, and actually working in your field, you probably won't have the time for that. Um, the other thing that I learned in my um, in my master's was um, to make connections with people. Um, no matter how you decide to spend your gap year with like working or traveling or going to school in between, whatever. Um, who you know is important um, because you never know who might be able to connect you to a job or an opportunity or even just give you some great advice. Um, the other thing that I learned in this entire academic journey of mine um, was that if you, even if you don't succeed at first, um, trying something different and having at it again 
um, is really helpful because there are a lot of opportunities out there. Um, failure can be super disheartening and make you want to quit um, or just make you feel like you're not good enough to, to actually get what you want in life. Um, like whether that's a career or like getting into a school or um, like, trust me, I felt like that all the time mm -hmm. um, when I waited to get into dental school for this long. Um, but if you stick with it, you'll probably open doors for yourself that you never really expected could even be an option. Um, it can be really scary to have to change up what you thought was your forever plan. Um, like I had to, but that's normal and that's okay. Um, you just got to keep an open mind and find opportunities or interests that are really different from what you thought you wanted to do, but that might also make you happy. Um, so I guess that's my final advice. <laughs> uh, that's great advice. I, I really um, appreciate you taking the time to yeah. share this expertise with me and also with um, our library customers. Of course, I'm happy to. I hope you have a wonderful holiday and I will talk to you soon. Yeah, thank you. You too. All right, take care. Bye-bye.